Hey guys, it's John here with Smart Dots Robotic Solutions, and today we've got something cool for you. We've got a NovaBot. Now this is a vision-based mower. Uh, it's similar in a few ways to other mowers. You've still got the three pivoting blades. You've still got a, you know a limited area. This is good for half an acre or a quarter acre. It comes in two models: the N1000 and the N2000. Now let's open up this NovaBot and see what it's got inside. Now, just like everyone else, this is going to have what we call like a quick start guide. It's going to show you everything you need if you're going to do a self-install. Now, the NovaBot is something that we see more of that for very small yards. Uh, like I said, it's vision-based. It's something that maybe you can order online from our web store and you can install yourself if you don't live around us. Uh, as you can see, it's got great instructions. It's going to show you how to use the app. It's going to show you the distance you need to have this and also little diagrams of the charging station and the underside of the mower, which like I said, are similar to what you're already used to. And similar to some that we've seen before, you've got the pivoting blades, like I said, you've got a similar looking charging station and you've got even an RTK tower. Now, like I have said previously, it's great to see these mechanisms combined. You've got vision, you've also got RTK, you've got a little bit of redundancy in case you know this thing goes under a tree or it's dark or something like that. Under here, Looks like we've got a lot of your standard stuff. This is probably a cable to the RTK station. Here's the mount for it. You've got your pigtails to hold the mounts down. Looks like clips for the wire and then cable here. And what do we got here? Nice manual. This thing's packed really well. Got a handful of stuff in here. Let's check it out. I'm assuming we've got a charger. All right, not too shabby. And then, let's see. Maybe screws or something, let's look. Yeah, all the tools you're gonna need. Oh, these are blades, wonderful. Blades and then screws. Uh, like I said, very similar to what we're used to. Let's take this stuff out and see what's underneath. Okay. We've got it, we've got the NovaBot. This thing does not look too bad. Let's get this uh, plastic off. Now the plastics are reminiscent of some other ones we've seen, you know, gray like Sunseeker. It feels kind of similar to the Husqvarna's overall, you know, kind of what we've expected. Now here you've got a 360 camera, which also has a cool feature, a watchdog feature. Wherever it's at, it's going to look around. You can tap it on this camera and kind of uh, use it for security. Now up here we have the front camera. Now obviously this is like very important to the way the mower works and everything. So I'm excited to see how that works. Uh, this guy actually looks... I'm decently sturdy. It's still plastic, just like everything else. And it seems to have like a QR vision base so it can get home. Uh, cool thing about these cameras, they can read that from really far away. Now, the, I guess you'd call it a touchpad here. Uh, seems similar to what we've seen before. Kind of, you know, kind of like Sunseeker, kind of like actually uh, Crest. You've got a stop button on here, just like everybody else. Let's uh, pull this thing out and see what we look like underneath. All right, now this thing does look pretty cool. Uh, the charging base, it fits right in here. I kind of like that these slopes keep it in place. And the other cool thing is this honeycomb pattern, which means you get a lot of texture. So maybe on a rainy day, this guy can have a little bit easier chance come in. I do see maybe get a little dirt in here, have to clean it. Um, as far as the charging base goes, charging port right here, two metal, uh, what do you call it? Charging prongs on the outside. Like I said, that QR code, and it goes right into here. Seems like we've got something, whatever that is, keeping this safe. And then as you can see, you've got metal in here for this thing just to line up on that. Um, because it is vision-based, I have a lot of confidence in this thing getting to the charging station every time and how it, it slides in there. Let's go ahead and turn her over and see that bottom chassis. All right, actually a lot like Sunseeker, they kind of have this great graded front bumper, I guess you would call it. Um, I mean, similar under here too. I actually like the way that this is stable down. I'm assuming maybe the batteries under here. Uh, you've got the pivoting blades. You don't have a skid plate, which I think is fine for a smaller yard. Um, the wheels look all right. They slide in and out. I kind of like that, to be honest. And then the connection right here is pretty simple. I like that there's a low chance that this is going to get caught on anything. And then once again, you've got these like like an under deck of these runners on under here, and you've got the power button right here. Uh, so far, it looks great. Like I said, good for a small yard. Uh, I won't cover too much. I bet this is probably 8 inches instead of 10 inches. Um, the wheels are nice, thick, and durable. I don't mind that at all. That actually feels pretty good. And uh, the outside isn't too shabby. It's looking all right. All right. Overall, the NovaBot N1000 and N2000 seem pretty great. 
Uh, it looks good. We're obviously going to test it like everything else. So we really want to test this with the gate. You know, uh, even in a small property, you might have to go to the front to the backyard. So we'll see uh, how the cameras deal with that. If they get dirty, anything we can think of, let's go ahead and test it out and see if we got anything else going on. Uh, hey, maybe come back next week. We'll unbox something else.